Hi, my name is Tony Ka. I'm an analytics consultant from Innerworks, and I'm very excited today to announce a new tool in Power Tools for Tableau Desktop called Data Source Discovery. This has been a pet project of mine for the better part of two years now, and I'm stoked to be able to finally share it with you. So the Data Source Discovery for Tableau tool analyzes the data sources within your Tableau workbook and gives you quick insights into the fields, values, potential issues in your data. So right now we're looking at uh, a quick taste of the detail dashboard so we can look at each field within your data source, um, just kind of a frequency, you know, the actual values within, uh, within each field. These happen to be sorted with cardinal by cardinality. So we've got our fewer distinct values to the top left, and then as we read down the uh, uh, left to right, top to bottom, we get more card um, higher cardinality. So we get down to our uh, um, our identifiers at that level. So then we uh, so that's our string, our group of strings. Then we have our dates and our boolean fields, and finally our measures. So we're able to get a quick picture of each of our data types, uh, the, the breakdown of each. Um, you know, we can answer questions like what kind of values are in each field? What is the range and distribution of those values? Do they actually make sense in context? Like if we had a 300% profit data point, should that actually be in there? Or do we need to go back and clean our data? Uh, we can also see if nulls are prevalent. So here for subregion, we, we have a primarily... Uh, null field. There's actually 80% of the field, 80% of the rows have a null value in this field. Uh, and we, we can see how many distinct values there are. So a lot of detail, a lot of uh, information here in uh, this detail dashboard. Uh, but I want to take a step back and actually walk through how we might generate one of these in, within uh, Power Tools for Tableau. So I'm going to go jump over to the uh, Power Tools for Tableau Desktop tool. Here you can see the Data Source Discovery icon. Go ahead and click on that. We've got the little uh, disco ball icon here. The, uh, uh, the pet name for this project during development was Disco, short for Discovery. So the, uh, the name lives on in icon form. So just like any Power Tools interface, we can go through and browse the folder for the, um, for the workbook we're looking for. I'm already in the right folder. My, uh, my demo folder, and I've got the Disco Demo Twibix file here. So I'm going to go ahead and select that, and let's go ahead and see what's in it. So Disco first goes out and analyzes which, uh, looks at which data sources are in your workbook, brings back some quick information about them, number of fields, the data type, and of course the name. So we can select or deselect any data sources we uh, we want to look at here. Uh, a couple options, so I talked about this briefly in the uh, when we're looking at the other uh, when we're looking at the output, but we can sort by cardinality or we can sort by A to Z. So the A to Z might make sense if we we're actually um, creating a glossary or something we might hand off to somebody else so they can look up um, look up each field by name. Uh, similarly, the grouping, the output by data type. You remember we started off with the strings and then we had the dates and then the booleans. So we can ignore that breakdown and actually do a true alphabetic, uh, alphabetic ordering. So I'm going to go ahead and leave those defaults and click Discover. And what it's going to do right now is it's going to create an output workbook with the information that we saw uh, in the last screen. It's going to ask us where we want to save it. Go ahead and click Save. And then when it's done saving, uh, a little file notification icon will pop up in the top right to let us know A, that it's saved, and B, where we can find it. So let's go ahead and open it up now. I'm going to click on the Open File I a link here. And the first screen that we open up to here, uh, it's actually going to be a summary screen, so one higher, one level higher than the detail dashboard we looked at earlier. What this is going to give us is uh, the quick hit information of the data source, uh, data sources by name, uh, their quick information about them, some alerts so we can find out if there's a suspicious number of records or a uh, potential for duplicate rows in the data. So the suspicious number of records is just based on the row count um, whether we we got a round number in there, like um, it, like 999 or 1,000, 
uh, or also the Excel row limits. So that detects those and spits out uh, or, or prints the icon here so that way we know that uh, um, we should actually look into that or make sure our data is not truncated before we use it uh, in production. And second, there's the potential duplicate rows alert. Uh, this happens if we don't have a completely distinct or unique field within the data source. Uh, it just highlights the fact that there could be duplicate data across there. Uh, and the neat thing about this feature is I can click on it and it's actually going to do a comprehensive analysis of each line, uh, of each row in our data. It's going to uh, concatenate each of the values together into one long gnarly string and then do a distinct account distinct on those and return any records that have more than or are, that are duplicate. So here we've got uh, there's three rows that are exactly the same and have these values within them. Uh, there are two um, two rows each that have these values in them. So the best way to actually look at this is to go in and view the data, um, the full data, and now we can look at um, look at this tab in a tabular format, and you can go in and fix. Uh, uh, go back and fix your data before going forward. So that's a uh, that's a neat piece of information that uh, that Disco allows us to get at. So let me go back to our um, summary screen here. So the one last thing to note on the summary screen is that uh, the shortcuts to each of those detailed dashboards. What we were looking at earlier, um, the if there's only 24 fields, if there's 24 fields or less, then those are all going to fit onto one detail dashboard. Um, if there's more than 24, it's going to be paginated across multiple dashboards. So you can see there's one, two, and three. Um, we've got the first 24, second 24, and then anything that's left over uh, on the on the last one here. So let's go ahead and dive back into the the shortcut uh, or the the detail dashboard here. So we've already covered the, the basics of this dashboard in the introduction, but essentially we're able to get a high-level overview of the values within each field in our data source. So one thing I'd like to highlight is the filter action. So we're able to see what, um, we're able to do one click lower than this and actually see how, how the rest of our data um, breaks down by a particular field. So let's say I'm interested in, well, uh, same day, uh, same day shipping mode. Um, I can click on that and everything else in the dashboard filters. And so now we're looking at just what is um, what is part of that same day. So I can see there's still nulls prevalent for these. Maybe I wasn't expecting that. Uh, I can see that one of my, uh, my 2015 data dropped off here. So I know that that data only goes through 2014. Uh, just several quick insights based on that. Depending on what you're looking for, um, you can you can find that between a combination of action filters, and you can layer those up too. So if I want to know what's same day and has a null p name, um, I can look at that uh, at that data by itself as well. So if I was actually um, not wanting to look at null values, I'll go ahead and deselect that. Um, I can I have an option up here to hide the nulls. So if I have sparse data or just am not interested in looking at those, I can get rid of them. And then there's also the option to show the top n of the, of the string fields. So right now we're looking at 100, um, up to 100 strings here. I can change that to any number I want. Just the more you have, the longer load time you can expect. So there you have a quick tour of the new data source discovery tool for InnerWorks Power Tools for Tableau Desktop Suite. To analyze your data source within Tableau and gives you quick insights into these fields that you might not have that you might have had to uh, say scrub around in a um, in your view data or actually drag these out and and make your own visualizations in order to just understand what's inside your data source. So hopefully it saves you a lot of time, um, gets a lot of the tedium out of the way so you can actually get in and start discovering what's in your data uh, and, and drawing insights from it. So you can go ahead and get a free trial of this uh, and the rest of the Power Tools for Desktop Suite at powertoolsfortableau.com and drop a comment below if you have any feedbacks or, or feedback or questions on the tool. Uh, love to hear it. Thanks.